What's up YouTube, Rhea Sunshine here, and today we're gonna find out whether or not you are cut out for camming. Rhea Sunshine TV, oh yeah. So it's a common misconception that webcamming is easy money. Webcamming definitely is not easy money. Running a business of any kind is not easy money. It's always challenging. And with webcamming, in addition to having the challenges that come with running your own business, you have the challenges that come with doing adult work and doing adult work online. Um, this includes stigma, uh, just from general people, relationship problems, there's a lot of extra um, emotional uh, problems, it's very emotionally taxing, um, all these issues I'll get into into this video. So. Camming isn't easy money, however, it can be incredibly fulfilling and enjoyable if it's something you're interested in and if you're able to handle it. So I came up with 10 questions that I'll ask you and you can decide whether or not you can handle camming. Number one, are you okay with your camming image being out on the internet for everyone to see forever? This one's really important. Um, a lot of people want to get into it, maybe short term. They want to make sure that no one will ever find out they're, they've done this, that they're doing this. And you can hide it pretty well. I mean, it's up to you. You definitely don't have to disclose to everyone. You don't have to go shout to the world that you do adult work. It's totally up to you how much you want to disclose to people. Maybe you have a family. You don't want your kids, friends, moms to know all that stuff. That's fine. Um, but you do need to be okay if it were to happen. Plan on that happening, plan on it being an option to happen. Um, and if you're gonna be serious about it and do it for a long time, people are gonna find out. Like it's gonna get out somehow and you need to be okay with that. Once you put something on the internet, it is there forever. So be okay with the world knowing forever. Number two. Are you looking to make a quick buck or are you looking to build a brand and a business over the long term? You could do camming short term and you could do it on the side and not really do it for the business. Maybe you're okay with your image being out there so you just do it for fun, that's totally cool. But if you're gonna try to make a lot of money from it, it's gonna be a long term game, not really a super short term game. So you wanna think in terms of building a brand long-term, is that something you want or did you just want some cash quick? Because if you want cash quick, this is not the best way to do it. Number three, how thick is your skin? Cam girls are loved by a lot of people. They're especially loved by internet trolls. <laughs> um, I mean, any public figure is gonna be subjected to trolls, especially on the internet. Trolls just love to Leave their mark, try to get a rouse out of you. People love to do it to adult workers because they think that's a job somehow that you're working an adult, which it really isn't, but you need to have thick skin when it comes to trolls. Number four, how driven are you? Are you a self-starter? Are you self-motivated or do you need someone setting your hours and do you need to answer to someone like a boss? If you do, camming probably isn't for you. It's really up to you how much you work, when you work, how much time you put in on camera, how, many, how much time you put in behind the scenes, that's all up to you. So if you aren't super driven, it's not gonna be a good job for you. Number five, are you financially responsible? So camming or adult work is thought to have a relatively quote unquote short lifespan. Um, camming, I mean, you don't have to stop camming at any age. You could potentially do it later into life. I think a lot of people think of it as more of a career that they will do somewhat temporarily, somewhat um, earlier on in their years. Most people like to do it relatively young. So in that sense, you know, you kind of have to think financially, how long do I want to do this? What's my um, exit strategy? What kind of job do I want to have after um, that will have to be okay with me having cammed? More on that later. Um, Am I gonna wanna save a bunch of money and then reinvest in something else after camming? So you have to think about all those things financially. You have to pay your damn taxes. I don't know why <laughs> this is always something in like cam girl tips or like advice or whatever <laughs> videos. And it's funny to me because it's like, of course you have to pay taxes. Everyone has to pay taxes. You have to pay your own taxes. You're responsible if you run your own business or if you are an independent contractor to pay your own taxes. So just like being self-motivated, you kind of have to have 
that fire lit under you for yourself and know that you have to pay them, get a CPA, pay them quarterly, save for them, don't spend all your money. You have a fluctuating income, you know, you're running your own business. So some months, some paychecks are better than others. When it's a bigger paycheck, don't go spend all your money. You need to be responsible, save that money. You have to think of yourself like you're taking care of yourself. You're paying your own taxes. You pay extra taxes, at least in the United States, as someone who is self-employed. You pay, I believe you pay double the social security tax. Um, you have to be responsible for retirement fund. You're not getting any of that. So you want to put money away for a rainy day. You want to put money away for slow paychecks, all that stuff. You want to reinvest in your business. You just have to think long-term too. Am I going to be saving for future financial goals? Number six, do you know how to use Google? This may seem kind of silly or even kind of mean, and maybe it's a little bit of both, but it is so true. So many people have so many questions that can really be easily answered by doing a Google search. So it makes me wonder, like, you know, it doesn't make me wonder, it makes me know <laughs> that you're not cut out for camming if you need that type of hand holding. So you really want to be independent and uh, have that instinct to be able to look stuff up for yourself, to always be researching new techniques, new tactics, looking at what there is out there and being able to apply it to yourself in your own business. You know, don't be afraid to reach out for help and ask people questions, but you also need to have some sort of independence in um, learning things. Number seven, do you view life through a lens of personal responsibility or do you play a victim to life's circumstances? So, I mean, this is a huge one in life in general. Don't even get me started. But <laughs> you, especially with business and especially with camming, it's so easy to just want to blame it all on external factors, you know? Oh, it's the website's fault. It was slow. Tuesdays suck. Uh, it's a slow season, my members suck, no one's paying me, the other models are taking all the money, My no one likes my body type, whatever, society sucks, whatever it is. Those are things that you can't really control. You want to focus on things you can control. And in the end, the things you can control really are the only things that really matter in your business and the only things that really will make you money. So what you can control, you have to view everything that way. You know, maybe you want to try working different hours. Maybe you want to look at your chat room in comparison to someone else's chat room that you like or that appears to be doing well. Take some notes, look at it objectively, apply it to yourself. You know, maybe you need to improve your lighting. Maybe you notice, oh wow, this girl's chat room is thriving and her, she's really well lit up and I actually notice that I'm really dark on my cam. Or maybe I can move around more and that would get more viewers in my room. Maybe I need to ask my members more questions and be more verbally interactive. Maybe I want to offer deals. Maybe I want to make more videos. Maybe I want to focus more on marketing and social media. There's literally endless things you can do and you're in control. You can do whatever you want and you have the power and you need to know that you have that power and not play the victim. Number eight, are you able to handle how emotionally taxing camming can be? So camming can be emotionally taxing for various reasons. Um, there is a lot of emotional labor going on, sort of similar to a therapist. Um, some members will see you as a therapist, uh, but members want different things from you. Different members want them. You have to be different things to different people at different times. Members' own personal psychology gets uh, put on you a lot. You are dealing with a lot of emotional stuff there, and you're also dealing with your own emotional stuff showing up and basically performing every time you're live streaming. Every time you're going live, you're in a sense have to like get yourself amped up and ready to perform. So in addition to doing all of your off-camera work, you have to have the mental and emotional capacity to bring yourself together and put on that show and interact with people in that way. And you don't always have to be some crazy bubbly you know, person, you don't have to be a fake version of you, but you need to have the ability to show up in a way that you're proud to show up. And that can be really hard day after day, and it is a job, and you can't just 
do it when you feel like it and not do it when you don't feel like it, you're not gonna be successful. So in that sense, you have to have the emotional strength to carry through and you also have to have the emotional strength to not get too wrapped up in your success and your failures. So if you run any sort of business, it's gonna be, you're gonna be emotionally attached to whether or not you're successful. But with camming, you are essentially selling your body and your personality. So it can be really hard to separate your self-worth from that if you're not doing well. At the same time, it's really easy to wrap up and like be so elated if you had a great night. That's okay, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, but you do really need to be able to step back and have the emotional strength to not get too down, to not get too wrapped up into your success and having it tied to who you are and your self-esteem. Number nine, in addition to all of your live streaming on camera time, are you willing to spend countless hours every day doing off camera work, such as building your brand, running your social media, growing your following, taking photos, editing photos, filming videos, editing videos, learning Photoshop, researching new strategies, um, working on your whole business strategy, planning cam shows, networking with other models, maintaining customer relationships, replying to emails. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Are you willing to do that? Does that sound like a fun challenge or does that totally turn you off and is it a shock to you? You need to be able to do that. The more you put in on camera and off camera, the more you're gonna get out of webcamming. And number 10, are you okay with the stigma interfering with your life now and forevermore? It is literally like the scarlet letter. Once you do adult work, you have a stamp on you. And like I said, it can be found out. It's on the internet forever. Are you okay with that? It can interfere with your personal relationships. Some people have problems with their friends. Their friends don't view them the same. Romantic relationships can obviously be tricky. Uh, your family relationships are a big hurdle for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't accepted by their families for doing adult work or they have some sort of trouble there with it. In addition, other jobs. Are you currently employed? You may be fired over it. You may not get new jobs in the future because of it. You may be fired in the future from a really good profession that you always wanted to do. Take that into consideration because the stigma is there forever. And now number 11, a bonus question. So did the list of 10 questions, did, did you nod your head like, yes, yes girl, I got you to all of them or almost all of them? or did several of them come as a surprise to you? If a few of them came to as a surprise to you, I don't think you should webcam. You are not cut out for webcam. <laughs> they should all be pretty straightforward that you're like, yes, okay, I understand that, I'm down, I knew that, totally got it, yes. And if not, it's not for you, and that's cool because it's definitely not for everyone. Running your own business is not for everyone, for sure. It can be really challenging, but like I said, I think it's super fun. It's a fun challenge for me, and if you're interested in it and willing to endure all 10 of those topics, then I think that you should go for it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Ladies of webcam, let me know. Did I miss anything like glaringly obvious? <laughs> let me know in the comments. Also, I want to do a Q&A video on webcamming. So leave your questions down below and I will happily answer them in an additional video about webcamming. <laughs> oh, hi. Did you want to say hi? Perfect timing, Albert. As always, please heart the video and subscribe because you're awesome and we will see you next time. I burped. <laughs> I tried really not. <laughs> I tried really hard not to, and then I kept going, and it was just so hot.